The Outer Banks for most people is a place to come in vacation and to stay for a little while, but for me it's home and it's where I've grown up. Living in the Outer Banks, I've grown up surrounded by natural beauty. Being able to see so many different ecosystems and to be able to interact with them has shown me how important it is to preserve places like this, and that's what made me want to major in environmental science. I play the uh, soprano, alto, and tenor saxophone. Music became a way to kind of express myself. Actually creating music was incredible. I work at Starbucks as a barista, which has been such a great opportunity. I've worked there for the past two years now. In high school, I faced some roadblocks for sure. Um, I had to work a lot to kind of make ends meet financially and to pay for the extracurriculars I um, participated in. My junior and senior year, I'd probably work like 20 to 30 hours a week. Isabel Marie Estes. It was definitely a challenge to keep that in balance. I did not get as much sleep as I probably should have sometimes. Being the first in my family to try going to college or to go to Carolina is, uh, it feels like trailblazing almost. Neither of my parents graduated high school even. They got their GEDs at some point. So it's like a leap in a completely different direction from most of the rest of my family. So it's been challenging to kind of find my own path in that respect. I'm going to be a Colonel Robinson Scholar. That means the world to me because without that scholarship, I wouldn't be able to go to Carolina or to, to college really anywhere. Being surrounded by opportunity excites me the most about Carolina and being surrounded by people who are just as eager to embrace the opportunities that are being provided to them. I'm incredibly excited to be able to be a part of that sort of a community.